changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration to make you simply happy this holiday season. It's Tip Tuesday, and today I want to talk about something that I think has happened to all of us. We give a gift, and the recipient has no idea what it is or why we chose it. Or we get a gift, and we're stumped. What is it? I had an aunt who was born on Valentine's Day and always loved hearts as a result, preferably pink or red ones. And she loved perfume, too. She also lived in an ancient apartment with ancient furniture. So one year, I found the perfect gift for her. It was scented drawer liner paper, and it was white with pink and red hearts, and it smelled good. So for the men listening, what is drawer liner paper? It's sheets of paper that you cut to fit the bottom of your dresser drawers. And then you have a nice clean sheet of paper there. It smells good and it's pretty. And it keeps your clothing from touching that nasty old wood in an old bureau. I was really delighted with this perfect gift that I had found for my aunt. But guess what she did with all those sheets of drawer liner paper? She had no idea what they were. She used them as wrapping paper and thus gave every single one of them away. So we have another story on this topic in our book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Merry Christmas. And in this story, Katie Martin tells us that she got a beautiful gift from her sister one year. This sister was known for her exquisite taste, and she always bought the most wonderful gifts for people. So one especially cold Christmas Katie was delighted when she opened her Christmas presents, and she found a beautiful and very unusual scarf from her sister. It was long, it was wide, it was bright red, it had Christmassy green tassels at the two ends, it had patches of other colors of green, and it had some black and burgundy patches, and then there were these long, narrow ribbons of bright gold running its entire length. It was big, and Katie could wear it lots of different ways, and she loved it, and she wore it constantly during every Christmas season after that. She always got lots of compliments on her unique scarf, and she loved wearing it because it also kept her warm and cozy because it was so big. So even on the coldest day, it would make her feel great, and people would come over and ask her where she got it. One Christmas, after she'd been wearing it for a few years, Katie decided to tell her sister how much she loved the scarf. And Katie's sister didn't remember giving her the scarf. So Katie described it in detail because she was surprised that her sister wouldn't remember such a unique, beautiful scarf. And her sister listened to her description, and she was more and more puzzled until suddenly her bewildered look turned into one of horror. And she got very serious looking, and she said to Katie, It's not a scarf, it's a table runner. Katie still wears it as a scarf, and she has never once put it on a table. And I just thought that story was so funny. And it reminded me of when I gave my aunt that drawer liner paper, and she used it as wrapping paper. I'm Amy Newmark. Thanks for listening to the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast today. I only have two more days to tell you Christmas stories, which is kind of sad, as I've been waiting all year to share all of them. But we do have two more days. So tomorrow, I'm going to share a couple of stories about Christmas dinner cooking disasters, including one of my own. If you'd like to read more Christmas stories, or if you'd like some great last-minute gift ideas, please go to our website, chickensoup.com. And you can visit Chicken Soup for the Soul on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest, and you can join the 2 million other people who are getting daily inspirational quotes and stories from us. You can also go to our website, chickensoup.com, and you can sign up for one of our newsletters. We'll send you a free Chicken Soup for the Soul story every single day via email.